what is a player to do? Sometimes you just got to go from catching this on the field to coaching it right here on the sidelines. But thanks to the Board of Education getting Oxford out of the SWC and putting them into the Naugatuck Valley League, which has teams that are much closer to where the school is located, they'll be taking shorter bus rides and they may even find some other ways to get to games this year. I think the, the bats will catch up as the weather gets warm, if that happens. We hope. <laughs> <laughs> if the, you know it gets warm, they'll, they'll pick it up. But yeah, pitching is, is going to carry you through. And the way you start is important because if you have a slow start like Amity, it is tough to get back on top because the schedule is not forgiving. For Stratford High's Genesis Torres, in the winter, it's basketball. In the spring, it's lacrosse. And in the fall, football? Football. Okay. What's going on, everybody? My name is Henry Chisholm, and the run ends here. Welcome into this week's episode of the Hoops Hub, guys. And this week, we're taking a look at the run to the sun. Mohegan Sun, right behind me, home of the 2015 CIC Championships taking place this weekend. And on the run to the sun, a lot could happen. Some good, some bad. Some teams made it this far, some teams fell short. Here are the stories on the run to the sun. And I had fallen and we just wanted to make sure everything was fine and they ended up finding that cyst. You're helpless as a father because you can only control what you can control. Neither Taylor nor her family could control much. After making Allstate her freshman year in 2013, her career was in jeopardy after finding out she had a cyst in her ovaries. And the big misconception is that she, she hurt her back, she snatched it. it, has nothing to do with that. And initially she did. After falling in an AAU game, Taylor went to have her back checked out. Uh, it was a bruise, bad bruise, uh, but they saw a spot. I came and did physical therapy and I thought I'd be okay for it. You know, when I came back in, because it happened in August, I thought I'd be fine. Went to the doctors, there was still scar tissue build up, so the doctors were like, hey, you can't play right now. And that bad news made basketball not so important anymore. She's scared, she, she had to grow up real fast, you know, and made uh, playing basketball, you know, very minor in, in what the aspects of life, because now I'm going, hey, she's gonna be okay. You know, is she gonna have a future you know, to have kids, or, you know, am I going to be able to be a grandfather? But Taylor was determined to play again. The cyst, that was 20 centimeters long, was not cancerous. And after successful surgery, she was working out. Well, actually, I had to go back into physical therapy, did a lot of, like, self-workout, because the contact wasn't what I could do, like, you know, because the on contact, you know, rebounding, all that, like, too much pressure on the where abdomen wasn't the best, so I was still working out, running, you know, at my pace, you know, going to the gym, you know, my dad got a membership at LA Fitness, we started, you know, working out. But life still found a way to become more important than basketball. Feeling lost in the shuffle at foreign high school, Taylor decided it was time to move on. It's like a thousand kids there, it's, it's a lot, you know, it's close to 2,000 kids. And I came from, you know, grammar school, primary school that was 28 kids in my grade and only 100 kids in the school. So it was, it was big. It was just a big school. She went to St. Joseph and Trumbull to start this season. However, she never played a game for the cadets. I think the way they went about things, a little cliquish, a little, you know, it's tough to be the, uh, I would say, the new kid on the block. Feeling out of the loop yet again at a big school, she leaned on her brother, Robbie, for help. He suggested Notre Dame or Fairfield, a smaller school that he previously attended. Like, come on, Tay, like, you're going to love it here. You have to come to Notre Dame. Like, this is the experience. And I was like, all right. So Taylor transferred to Notre Dame or Fairfield, where she led the Lancers all the way to the Class S semifinals. I am absolutely happy. I'm, I love it here. It's, I think everything happens for a reason, and I'm happy. 